Have you ever wondered about that air mattress you've been letting your mother-in-law sleep on when she comes over to visit? And if it would ever actually hold water? Well, I'm going to answer that question today. See if we can turn an air mattress into a water bed. So I pulled the old air mattress out of our closet here and I started reading the warning label on the that bottom. In the garbage? Well, dude. <laughs> you know how the mattress never fits back in a stinking box? Ever. Well, we kept the box for whatever dumb reason. <laughs> uh, warning, use only under competent supervision. Do not use in water. So can you use water in it is the big question. Not a life-saving device. Keep flock side up. Keep away from fire. Do oh. not use around sharp objects. Secure all caps and plugs. It looks like we're going to be probably doing all of those things. Probably. Now that we have disregarded all of the warnings, let's go to work. Okay, first thing first is we have to find uh, I think grandma has been sleeping on this thing. Uh, we first need to get rid of the blanket and not tell my wife about it. Okay, now we have an issue here and I'm sure there's a reason for it, a good reason, so you don't hook the hose to it. This does not match up. So I'm going to improvise. I'm gonna connect the sprayer up on the end of the hose here. Make sure it's nice and somewhat tight. Next piece of our Improvising here is trusty duct tape. So I know that we're going to get some water leaking out of there. And I know there's gonna be a lot of pressure towards the end as it gets bigger. The question is, is it going to hold water all the way until it's completely full? And then, once it gets to that point, how full can we actually fill it? And can I lay on it if it's full? Oh, we have water. I already want to get on it. You may or may not have seen the last video we did of cooking a turkey with a car exhaust. Um, if you haven't seen it, I won't tell you how that went, but I will tell you there was something in the end, a little piece in the end, a scene where uh, there was a fire. And uh, since this is going to take some time, and I don't want to sit and just watch it, I think we should create some fire without a spark or a flame. This uh, two part mixture. Is uh, it's which is already fizzing and boiling as we speak. What's going to happen is it's going to fizz first, it's going to start smoking and getting hot, and then it will spontaneously combust. If you're really curious as to what is in here, what the mixture is, leave it in the comments below. Maybe you can guess. Here it goes. Here it goes. All right, you can see it's really, really boiling here. The smoke follows that. It is getting crazy. Whoa. Flame! <laughs> That's 600 degrees right there, yo. Well, it's created a uh, black cake that I am definitely not gonna eat. We have 800 degrees. 882 degrees. different than a water bed? Why is that? Hey, we did follow one of the rules, felt up. <laughs> okay, so I have to try it out, dude. You think I'm gonna, this is a lot more solid than it's a water really bed, like a, a regular water bed moves. Okay. Like pop. okay, so far it's holding me up. I'm not touching <laughs> the ground. So you wouldn't even need a lot of water. No, well, don't pop it. <laughs> it's cold. It's a really cold bed. Really cold. But if you put hot water in it, if you don't try to move it, you don't move. Yeah, it's, but when I do this, it kind of freaks you out. <laughs> yeah, like you can bed. hear the slide, the slush. It's really not like, it's really solid. It's, it's amazingly solid. It really is looking like it's, it's getting close to probably 90% full so far. I don't know. Maybe a little more? I don't know. 
What's your prediction? Do you think it's gonna rip before it gets full? Oh, I think it's just gonna pop. I think the sides are gonna go up first. I did a pretty good job taping that, but we're definitely getting some leaks out of here as the pressure in the mattress gets, gets higher. Another few minutes and it is, it is, it is solid. It's, it's really solid. I'm gonna lay on it again here. I don't know that I could sleep on this. This is getting a little bit too hard for my liking. <laughs> I start kicking it. But it's definitely a lot more, it's, it's getting, I think it's to the point where it's completely pumped up full now. Now we're gonna see the balloon effect. Let's see if this thing stretches at all. It is solid. Definitely to full now. Now it's a question whether it's gonna expand or if it's gonna bust at the seams. These seams on the side are actually really well sewn in there. Okay, so we've got a lot of pressure right here. The water is now coming out of these little seams. It's trying its hardest to escape wherever it can. You prepared to get wet? No. <laughs> Pretty solid. It is really solid. Holy cow. It's like laying on the ground. Like there's no movement whatsoever. <laughs> okay, jump on it. It's actually quite fun. Dude, that's solid. That is so solid. Really solid. Jump like high, dude, jump. <laughs> oh, 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 we have bursting. Oh, it's nasty in there. Uh, or is that just the... That's coming out the crack. Okay, jump on it. We gotta, gotta keep going. Burst that thing. <laughs> oh, it's, you're riding it. <laughs> that's what happens. You start riding down the <laughs> driveway. Whoa. It's actually moving. <laughs> it's surfing. Ready? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> It's still, going. it's still going. It's still moving along. Okay, <laughs> see if you can flip it over and let's find out what the what the crack is. Can you do it? Oh dude. Oh dude, it ripped right in the in that. <laughs> Well, it is confirmed you can actually turn your air mattress into a, a surfboard. water bed or a surfboard. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't recommend it because uh, as you can see, jumping on it a little bit, quite a bit actually, and, and, and a little bit of pressure turned it into uh, a lake out here and, and gave Branson an opportunity to surf. That was pretty sweet. Maybe if the mattress didn't have like the little chambers because that was the weak point. Well, I think that they need to put a new warning label on the box. Give us a comment down below. Let us know what you would like to see us do next. Uh, our last video, we got a lot of uh, help from you guys to, to figure out what we're gonna do next. Keep that coming. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Remember, watch for the next video as that car over there and a real water mattress go head to head to see which one fails first. Thank you so much for watching. We love you guys, and as always, you, you are, are worth it. it.